Tattoo guys, they got a tattoo spot uh-huh. in my hood, and all the motherfuckers that hang out there are all tatted up. They're tough. They got <laughs> tattoos. <laughs> Yeah. Do you have to? Do you have any tattoos? Yeah, I got a, I got a couple. Or, yeah, I, I'm just, I can't just remember. on my forearm. That's uh-huh. the only tattoo I got because when I got it, my mom cried. Aww. And I was like, you know, why? Because she felt like, like you had I had you for nine fucking months, yo, and prayed and hoped and prayed I'd have a perfect baby, and I did. And now you went and drew on yourself. You went, oh wow. Oh. You're right. She threw it on me like that. <laughs> She made you feel real bad. Yeah, and I was like, almost turned me into a punk about it. Cause I was about to say, well, Justin has him too. Yeah. <laughs> you know, but, but I couldn't You tell almost him. dropped a dime. <laughs> and I was like, yo, man. <laughs> Mom saw my tats and went, she started crying and everything. He's like, what? Did you tell her about mine? Yeah, you just told her about mine. I said, no. Said, man, That's I don't know good. why you would let her see it, man. <laughs> I was like, you, she doesn't know? He says, hell no, I'm never showing my tattoo. You not. Oh, wow. It was, it was too late now. Too late. I was the fucking failure. <laughs> I ruined my life. Oh, wow. I was, uh, uh, what else you say? A low life. A l- oh, my God, yeah. really? What yeah. earrings and tattoos. What well, earrings, yeah. yeah. That shit wasn't no motherfucker, you know? Yeah. That wasn't not cool. They did not play tattoo. You got tattoos? People that were covered with tattoos, yeah. they were at the circus, nigga. Yeah. <laughs> they wouldn't, true. They wouldn't yeah. in class. <laughs> it was at the circus. I wonder what my grandmother would say about my tattoos now. Man, she she hit me hard with that. She cried. What do you think? You, do you think yeah. she'd be pissed? <laughs> I would that, look. that look right there. Right. 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 I was like, oh, what did you do? Oh, Lord. <laughs> you, what was that? Well, you you you're a mother. You have a son. How would you feel? I I mean, but I does, have two does, tattoos. He doesn't. Oh, oh he does. And he was in the Navy. You're so. the fucking bad example. <laughs> Come on. You got to learn how to roll some weed. And you got to learn drink up, drink up. <laughs> when are you going to get some tattoos like your mom? <laughs> exactly. Right. <laughs> we got Man. tattoos. That was like, we got tattoos you, together. Oh, um, yeah. Um, the first one, no, I got by myself. And then we got one together. Cause he, hit, you know, that's when he wanted to copy me. He says I always there try to copy is. him, but got it. I just my man just hit me with the cover art oh. for the next release. Oh, nice! What is the next release? The next release is Royal Lick. Royal Lick. Yeah, yeah um, Royal Lick. Okay. And it's self-explanatory when you hear this song. Okay. But um, yeah, this is. Let me just hit dope. Okay. Man, we was, you know, you, you gotta go back and forth. Damn. I hate this fucking shit. Big I try to write a, dope. Big fingers it, on a little phone. Yeah, man. It wrote die. <laughs> nah, homie. That's fucked Damn, up. Damn, autocorrect. Perfecto. There it is. You know, within keeping with the theme of the of the of the mm-hmm. the, the um the the Can sunflower blowing. Yeah, yeah. That's 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 the cover for Royal Lake. Oh, cool. So we got two singles out right now. We got Blazing a Bowl. Mm -hmm. We got Nigerian Attorney. And coming out very soon. Royal. The Royal Lit. The third third single. Nice. I like it. And, um. Oh, that's cool. Thank you. You're doing a new cover. Just just for each single, yeah. Yeah, You know. So you, you know. Hey, man. It is what it is. Oh, you gotta, okay. yeah. Yeah, I like this. Just a touch. Uh huh. Tony. Yeah, just. Just the name of the song. Huh? Yeah. Oh, hold on. I'm rolling up. So, yo, man, I'm excited to to introduce our guest laugher. Uh, oh yeah, we do have a guest wait. laugher. Yeah, we do. We'll, we'll introduce him when we start the show. Until then, I'm just like feeling old as fuck. Right. I'm Thanks good. for showing up. <laughs> it's feeling young, man. You know what I'm like, God yeah, right, damn. right. Yeah. yeah. What are you doing out here without your parents? He does make you feel a little old. Where's Me he, too. They just dropped you off here and left. <laughs> oh God, right. I'm adult. Right. I'm young man. Now. Young man. Where are your parents? Where are your parents? <laughs> but what was we talking about? Um, you were talking about um the song. 
No, before the Royal Lake. Royal Lake. No, mm-hmm. Royal Lake. Is oh, before that, you were talking about your neighborhood and, and oh yeah, and how you're like the mean guy. I gotta get this off my chest. Man. Okay, go ahead, go ahead. You got time? Could you still pre roll? This is one chick, man. Older chick. This fucking dickhead, man. Mm-hmm. She's got a dog. She's got a dog. The dog is buck fucking wild. Mm-hmm. The dog. No, it's a little fucking dog that you can oh, kick across the street oh. with ease. <laughs> Don't but you do don't want to do that no. because you know, like this is probably her only fucking friend. Right, the dog. Yeah, right? and I try to be nice to this motherfucker. Right. You know, hey, hello, hello. But nah, she's one of those that doesn't get it. It's like she likes to. She, she comes over, she starts like you. You be nice to her. Now you find out that you have an that you're her ally. Against the other old ladies that want to kick her ass in the neighborhood. <laughs> and the other old ladies are cool. They say hello, they mind their fucking business. You know what I'm saying? Right. But this one wants to talk and gossip and point and leak it. I'm like, hey, 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 bitch. <laughs> Well, come around me with that bullshit, man. But why is she just old and just yeah, maybe she's old, lonely? She's and- old and she's, you know, she's lonely and all of that. But, you know, I don't really give a fuck because I got one neighbor that's old and lonely and she's a G. Mm-hmm. And I'm down with her. That's the home girl. I help her with her groceries, whatever the fuck it is. She's a nice, oh, she's an elderly woman. She's, she's polite. She talks, you know, five, ten minutes and she keeps it moving. Right. And if she needs anything, she knows she can always ask me because I'm that type of neighbor. I always help her. But this other one, she's a shit starter. <laughs> oh, well, like, what does she do? Like, what? <laughs> <sighs> like, okay, this is really now. One day, I'm taking out the fucking can. Isn't that too much in there? Relax, relax. Okay. <laughs> too much. Okay, okay, okay. You should be quiet and learn. Okay, okay, my bad. You should say to yourself, "Damn, that's how, too much." I'm like, let me see how he gonna does do it. this. Okay, I'm, I'm I know waiting you, with cool, bated breath. You're just thinking out loud. Okay, yeah, well, I really you see was. That? <laughs> you see, on your roll, you see how you even it? You just even it out. Okay, okay. And now all of that that was too much, huh, securely fits in this motherfucker. Wow. Lovely. Nice. Look at that. Okay. Yeah, I'm about Bob Marley style joints. There you go. I roll joints today, you know. Yeah. I don't want a blunt. I don't want no bull. I want a giant. The joints. Not a spliff. You know what a spliff is, right? What is a spliff? A spliff, a spliff is, is, is I don't, I don't. to me, a spliff is weed mixed with tobacco. Oh, okay. okay. And this is what a lot of, you know, a lot of Jamaicans smoke, a lot of British motherfuckers smoke. Well, what's I'm the point California. if you're going to mix it with tobacco? Exactly. Yeah. That's what I fucking say. I mean, I... And they be like, what do you mean, what's the point? <laughs> I'm like, you gonna smoke you... all that old weed, you know, cut it, you know, cut it with some tobacco. Right, yeah. And the yeah. Jamaican be like, yeah, I'm like, yeah, if I, yeah, if I torn it down, you know, you know, get the fuck out of yeah. here. Roll a straight up chronic joint, nigga. There you go, okay. For my homies on Chris, y'all. <laughs> is that what it's living for you? Like, is it the, um, okay. Yeah, yeah, no, I'm like, see, that's a I wouldn't want to waste that. Okay. That motherfucker right there. Woo. Now, do you have to, like, no, no, no. Okay. You have to light it. Okay. That's but isn't it. it a little still a little damp? Listen. Mm. It's damp, but that's gonna that's gonna fucking work in my favor. Got it. That's gonna steam that glue on there. I see. It's gonna keep it nice and airtight and all the smoke. So I'm gonna show you how it works. Okay. You, you think it's wet. To the naked eye. That's Listen what it is. Up. Okay. Okay. Here we go. Here we go. And look at that. Wow. Oh. There you go. Switches. Hitting switches. Hitting switches. Oh, oh. oh my. Uh, that was all good. It's good. This is motherfucking uh, some good ass backyard boogie Clementine. Backyard boogie Clementine. Yep, this is Clementine. Okay. okay. Do you have, uh, 
It was Clementine before, wasn't it? That's what I had. This is a, this is off that. Mm-hmm. Man, shouts out to Tom and Scott out there in uh in a dub seat. Um, you, think you see him like staggered. <laughs> One motherfucking hell yeah, of a hit. Healthy you can't hit. Fuck with Mother Nature, man. Ain't nothing oh. done to this week. Nothing. 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 You know what was done to this week? What? It was left the fuck alone. Alone. Hello. And it was did it. The sun hit it. Fed it the right shit. What plants eat? Fish shit and all kinds of other shit. Kind yeah, of yeah, yeah. Right. And right, this right. motherfucker. Right. Well, Linda, you're about to get a contact quick. Okay. But anyway, he t- right. he had three yields. You understand? Yes, you told us that. That was a plant. Pre- right, which is pretty three good. Three fucking yields. So is each yield stronger than the yes. last? Like as far as potency? Yes. Uh huh. And this here, this is uh, this is the first cut off of his second yield. Oh, okay. So he had like about three or four cuts off of each yield. Mm hmm. And he's on his third fucking yield now on his on his last cut. Right. He's gonna cut it down on Thanksgiving. Nice. But he, you know, I went over there and trimmed a little and kicked it and talked weed talk and you know he gave me a nice care package. So I have to you know shout him out because okay. you know hey he's a backyard grower and backyard growers is what I'm about right now. Be about it. Be about it. It's Grow your own fucking weed. It. Okay, I'm wait. Gonna... You're, you're, the pre-roll is done, so you want to start the show. and then no, we can... the pre-roll just got lit. Right, because that's like we got the pre-roll going. Listen, 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 Okay, listen, okay, listen. okay. And I'm speaking for the fans. Okay, right. Because, right. boy, the don't they just jump on my back. Yes, because yeah. they don't like your <laughs> rushing. <laughs> they don't like you steering the show this way and steering it that way all the time. Okay. Learn how to ride. Okay, I'm it's riding. Okay. I'm, I'm riding. So I'm riding. I'm riding. I'm riding. Mm-mm. You're not riding yet. <laughs> I'm riding. I'm riding. You won't be riding later. I'm, I'm, I'm going to fix your ass. <laughs> oh, okay. Thank you. <laughs> I'm riding. There you go. There you go. She looked wow. like the front of the Titanic. Just <laughs> <laughs> leaning into that. <laughs> Uh, right. <laughs> I'm like, oh okay, alrighty oh, then. Just start it now. Yeah. Start hey, it. you just let me know when you're ready. I'm with you. I mean, I'm, I'm, I'm ready. to start the show, uh, and then we'll go into something. Else. Okay, no, Ooh, I'm still on the pre-roll. I think we're on the pre-roll. I'm like, oh, we're in the blunt. You know? <laughs> okay, whatever, whatever. Sip. <laughs> Get your sip on. Oh, I have something perfect for you. Whenever you're ready. Goddamn. It's like army coffee. Right? <laughs> oh, you know that. You got to have. <laughs> yeah, you know. You know. Yeah, you know. know. Right. Know. Come on. Right. The, the Denton's roll with strong coffee. You know how that goes. <laughs> oh, happy belated Veterans Day, by the way. Oh, thank you. That's yeah. right. It yeah. was yeah. Veterans Day. Yeah. 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 Yes. Happy Veterans Day yeah. to all my happy veterans. Vet- For this year, we're, you know, we're a few days. Our show airs, but it was yesterday. Mm-hmm. I ain't getting nothing free this year. I didn't really. Oh, you didn't hit all your spots. You didn't hit your spots. Nah, nah. Wear your hat. No. You didn't wear your hat. Uh, I always wear my hat when I smoke in public because but, that's my shield. Right. It's like that don't don't up. fuck with They're me like, because. Hey, hey, <laughs> hey! What motherfucker? <laughs> hey is for horses. Stand back, soldier. <laughs> I need this. Incoming. <laughs> Leave right. me. You want me smoking this. Yeah. You need me smoking this. <laughs> you rely on me yeah. smoking okay. this yeah. and not slapping the shit. No, I'm just kidding. Yeah. <laughs> but see, that's probably what keeps you calm with the lady in the neighborhood and all of that. Yeah, yeah, yeah definitely. Right, right. But see, that's what I'm saying. Mm-hmm. The lady in the neighborhood. <clears throat> When I moved into my spot, I signed a lease. No smoking. No right, smoking. yeah. No okay. smoking. Mm-hmm. Owner's like, dude, don't I give a fuck. Cool. Right. right. No biggie. Right. All right, I'm out on my motherfucking uh, patio. <laughs> right? Okay. Chilling some morning. Mm-hmm. 
So, oh shit, it's time to take the cans out. I forgot. So I rush, get the cans out. As I'm taking out the cans, I hear, Big P4! Yeah. Or, oh, P4. <laughs> <laughs> Big P Farm, oh, this could go a few ways. <laughs> <laughs> Who is this? Big P Farm. Turn around. Wow. And it is. Someone from yesteryear. <laughs> yesterday. Somewhere that I someone that I was a lad with. A lad, okay. Some would even say on opposing teams. Uh oh, okay, got it. This is life. This got is, it, got it. How it is? You grow up in LA and you live in LA. Yeah. Not everyone's happy that you're on TV. You're right, 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 right. <laughs> big B4! Big. Oh, wow. Now, this is whack. Yeah. I don't like nobody knowing where the fuck I live. Yeah. Uh -huh. Especially nobody knows me as Big B4. <laughs> <laughs> Damn. And of course I live here. Who the fuck takes cans out <laughs> you can't, randomly? You can't even play it off. Oh, it's like I'm taking a trash out. Hop out here and take that cans out. <laughs> exactly. Now. What up, though? Man, long time no see Yeah, what's up, my dude? How are you, man? Yeah, you know. <laughs> I know this thing and his brother for years, for years. We grew up together, man. Okay, I see my dude. No biggie, we chatting it up. Well, the nosy bitch oh. has gotten into it with the homie before because he's a friend of my neighbor. He just happens to be over there visiting. Okay. And that neighbor and him have gotten into it with the nosy bitch. Why? Because she's a nosy bitch. Exactly. I fully understand, mm -hmm. but this isn't my friend. <laughs> this is a guy, I mean, he's my friend. Like, hey, yeah. my nigga. See you around. <laughs> you know, what the fuck? Yeah. Like, I wouldn't leave my kids yeah. with this right, nigga, man. Right, right, right. Yeah. right. Like, I wouldn't let him leave his with me. Right, exactly, exactly. Take these kids with you, homie. Yeah. Oh, it's that. I don't know him like that. Mm -hmm. But nonetheless, this nosy motherfucker decides she's going to run up to say something, and it happened to be, coincidentally, right on an exhale. Uh-oh. Uh -oh. Well, there you go. This is I, yeah. yeah. <laughs> right, right. I mean, I'm like, yo, what up with you? Hey, hey. <laughs> hey, good morning. <laughs> I haven't, he's not an enemy yet. <laughs> not an enemy yet. Right. Hey, right. Hey, good morning. I'm on my motherfucking patio. Right, right. My area, my, my, where, where I'm at. Okay, I'm at the front of it, you know, on the street. Like, what the fuck? I see this dude. Uh, okay, I'm shaking hands, giving a pound. Hey, man, how about them Lakers? You know, no biggie. She don't like dude. So she's going to confront him with me, who... We did like each other, but at this point, I'm like, hey, hey. Right. She said, <gasps> what, you smoke that junk? Oh. Oh. Wow. Like it's heroin. <laughs> Wait a minute, bitch. This is medicine, first of all. Do I stand at the sink while you fucking pop your aspirin for your <laughs> headache and say, <laughs> huh? Do I fucking run behind motherfuckers with asthma when they're like, <laughs> do I'm like, <gasps> do I do that? No. If I see a motherfucker with the patch on their arm, do I, uh -huh, patch on your arm. Some of that patch might splash on me. No, right. don't do that. Take your fucking medicine. I'm taking my medicine. And guess what? It's natural medicine. Even if you do get a whiff of it, bitch, you probably won't be that nosy. <laughs> or you'll you'll be that nosy, but you will be chilling about it. You'll just be thinking like, I wonder why they keep going in and out. 
But the weed will save you from going over there. Hey, well, I tell you, you're doing it. You know, I get you killed over here. I don't do, not in my house, but I know where the fuck. Hey, man. I'm not in a bad neighborhood. I'm not in a good neighborhood. I'm in a fucking West Coast, California neighborhood. I don't give a fuck how it looks. Right. Compton is beautiful. Beautiful. I'm telling you, breathtaking yards. Yet some of the landscaping is breathtaking. Like, <gasps> and the motherfuckers that live in that house will take your breath. <laughs> Snatch it. So this is Cali, okay? Mm -hmm. So she got a whiff of the smoke. I see the dude, he's like, man, I hate that old bitch. I'm like, yeah, she could be, you know, she could overstep her, bro. She's old, though. He's like, man, fuck her, man. That bitch called the police on me, you know what I mean? Oh, wow. For oh, wow. Some dumb She's shit. that neighbor. Like, oh, wow, really? Yeah. Well, hey, man. Good seeing you. <laughs> <laughs> I got interviews here. Yeah, I got it. Right. I did some radio interview and shit. I'm fucking talking to the homie from yesteryear. Mm -hmm. Last time I seen this nigga, we both had on khaki suits. Right, right. right. You know what I'm <laughs> right. saying? Right. <laughs> so anyway, anyway, boom. The next motherfucking day, maybe not the next day, maybe about two days later, I get a fucking uh, the, the mail you gotta sign for. Oh. This per, per your lease agreement, if you're smoking in oh, you on. will be evicted. Are you serious? So I, tell, I call him, I'm like, homie, what's, what's good? Come on. He's like, nah, it's, it's, it's not me. I had a, a complaint from the neighborhood. You see, it's a tight knit neighborhood. Mm -hmm. They all know each other, they all own parents. Own. You see, that's enough. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, I they, know. They all know. Mm -hmm. She got on the old fuck hotline. Call <laughs> 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 all the other ones, you know. Really? Really? Yeah. Are you sure it was marijuana? Yes, and it was very high grade. I'm still dizzy. The oh, old well, fuck hotline. What time was this? I'll be sure not to walk by, maybe. Perhaps. Oh, I will. <laughs> to see for myself. Yeah, right. you can get it too. So anyway... After that, you know, I'm not that, uh, I'm like this, nigga, look, look, I'm never a problem, <coughs> I don't right, argue, right, no. I don't go back and forth, no blazing here, no blazing here, done, shut down, done, never have to tell me twice, but, now I see this old motherfucker, and she be like, <laughs> I just look straight ahead, like, I don't even fucking acknowledge you, right, I can't, I can't. So now I'll be happy. She lives like maybe about eight houses up from, from mm -hmm. me, right? So I just walk all the way up to the front of her house, oh, stand God. on the sidewalk. <laughs> <laughs> stand on the sidewalk. Stand on the sidewalk. Yeah. Right, right. <laughs> <laughs> Because of you. You're right. I was on my patio before. I was before. in my crib. Right, I was right. doing my thing. And now, now I'm here. I know you. <laughs> right. I know y'all had beat. Right. <coughs> you know? Mm-hmm. Homie. Shit. Homie don't even. Then, then the homie came. I saw him. And I was he like, hey. I'm like, yeah, I'm <laughs> <laughs> And I'm sure he takes it as on seat. You see how niggas are? <laughs> You see, I try to be cool with the motherfucker. Right, 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 right. You know, we kicked him one time. He found out he couldn't get shit from me. Now I don't want to fuck with him. <laughs> yeah. That's how it goes. Yeah. That's, that's what you would call a misunderstanding for Man, sure. I, I go through him all the time in this neighborhood. <laughs> then I got another guy in the neighborhood. I call him Rock Bottom. Uh-huh. Yeah, he got a boulder head. Boulder head. Like uh -huh. a rock, like a rock bottom. Here you go. And he's the toughest guy in the neighborhood. Yeah, he's tough. He's got the whole neighborhood shook, you know. <laughs> of course, you didn't have like, me shook. Because, like, nigga, you're a kid. You're a child. <laughs> <laughs> I don't play that who's tough shit. Right, you right. Are. You are. You're the toughest motherfucker in the world. You're so tough. You can withstand this nine millimeter clock. <laughs> <laughs> That's how tough you are. Come over here, nigga. Uh -huh. I don't play that. You can talk shit all day. I'm, I'm that guy. You can talk. You can talk shit right here. Just don't ever put your hands on me. That's mm -hmm. the go. Mm -hmm. That's the rule of life. Right. I mean, you can't go. You can't get upset people talking shit. 
Right. Can I? If I mean, if you can, if you get upset over people talking shit, I'm gonna tell you right now, don't ever fucking get married. Yep. Yeah. That's part of marriage. Yeah. Well, fuckers talk shit. Wives, y'all talk shit. <laughs> so do husbands. Goddamn right. <laughs> talk shit. That's part of marriage. Right. We know the shit to talk to. Right. 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 Both of them. Right. We each yeah, we, we, we both sides know right. the shit to talk. But right. we know it's shit talking too. Yeah. The public, some motherfuckers, they don't know that. So right. that's why I don't talk shit. Right. Mm-hmm. You don't know. You don't know this motherfucker might have just got out of solitary confinement mm-hmm. for five, six years. And, and bam, it was a reversal. Now this nigga's out. Yeah. Yeah. You think it's a Denny's parking lot. No, this is freedom like a motherfucker. <laughs> <laughs> motherfucker might bump your car and you be like, God damn it. That's, yo, psh. That's the wrong motherfucker. Not right. everyone, but I guess what? I'm not that guy. You can talk shit. Mm-hmm. Well, I'm not gonna lie. You can't, because sometimes it's too much. The wrong. It's just well, the, the wrong day. The wrong yeah, moment. Certain mm-hmm. shit just <clears throat> like I will give you an <laughs> example. Wait, wait, can we start the no, show? Please? No. No. <laughs> see this? To our guest, Kate, I'm sorry, just hang in there. This is a necessity. This has to go down. Has to go down. Okay, go ahead. Carry on. Welcome to Freeze Talks, everybody. Yay! My name is Freeze Talk. I'm your host, comedian of Freeze Talk. And um, I am a comedian, so please understand if you get your feelings hurt, write a letter to your congressman. Yeah. Right, uh, right, right. Exactly. What good is that going to do? Yeah. Anyway, we have our co-host, the lovely Miss Linda Hamlin Denton, writer extraordinaire, and co-host, Freeze Talk producer, all of that. We have our laughing crew. We have the master laugher, Mr. Ray Denton, also cameraman, editor, director, and we have the laughers journeyman, Mr. Dominique Brown. Yes, indeed. Producer and uh, cameraman and laugher. And then we also dun, have dun, a very dun. special, very, very special guest laugher in the house. Yay. New to the city of Los Angeles this time. This time. Back yeah. around. Full grown man. I knew him when he was a child. He's a daddy now. Your daddy, a family, a family man. Give it up for the guest laugher, Mr. Craig Smith Jr. Give it Yay. up for Craig Smith Jr. Whatever. You got another name that you go by? No. No, 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 no. Come on, what right, about the other right. stuff? M- music producer. Music producer, producer lyricist. Come on, actor, lyricist, director, rapper, writer. Actor. Yeah. I mean, Newly playwright. Yeah, exactly. Newly playwright. You That's see what I'm saying? Yes, yes. That's dope. We're going to be That's shooting his up. play. What so, shows do you have your you play songs on right now? Jesus. Uh, Empire, Power, Star, uh, Movie, Spider Man, Homecoming, Shaft. Look at all yeah. that. Look at all that. Look at all saying? that. Look at home. Right, right, yeah. right. Yo, right, I knew right. this young nigga when he was uh when he was a young gangbanger. He <laughs> thought he was. <laughs> he thought he was. <laughs> he <laughs> thought he was, man. He <laughs> thought he was. He was I'm telling you, it was just like a scene out of colors. <laughs> <laughs> I remember you, Craig, I'm sorry, I remember you. I remember that, the frown on your face. I remember the tear coming out of your eye. Your pops was like, nigga, ain't going to be none of that shit. <laughs> Fuck all them gags. You got to face me. <laughs> yes, wow. Look at you, man. Proud, okay. proud to know you, man. Yeah. Yes, Very indeed. Proud. Yes, yes, indeed. God bless your pops. You got a hell of a pops, yes. man. A hell of a, a hell of a family. hell of a family. Yes, indeed. Oh. Hell of a moms, hell of a pops. You got yes. a lot of love around you, homie. God a bless you, my dude. Yes, yes. And the wife, there it is. Awesome. Wow, awesome. I feel old in the I know. Thanks. Hey, right. <laughs> <laughs> Craig got a young Craig got authority like a motherfucker. <laughs> Let not eat the last motherfucking right. donut. <laughs> that's motherfucking bitch. That's big Craig, but what? That's pop stone right now. Right, for real, wow. for real, for well, good, real. Good, Welcome to Freeze Talks, homie. Thank Glad you. to see you, man. Thank you for coming and hollering at us. Thanks for having me. Right, yeah, for wow. sure. Okay, so I was doing some cannabis homework. There's a strain called um, Green Crack, and it's uh, it has a rich, earthy flavor profile. 
um, and it approximates some of the same flavor of a morning brew or okay, coffee. Let me just stop. Okay, you okay, 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 okay. There's a real bigger meaning here, Linda. Okay. And we having a voice in the marijuana oh, yeah. community. Yes, sir. Okay, okay. And to smokers out there mm -hmm. worldwide, these big companies. See, they taking our weed because they want to make bread. So they say, well, I'm going to tell you mm -hmm. that our green crack is ideal for smoking coffee. People love coffee. Let me tell you something. If you like fucking orange juice, if you like buttermilk, <laughs> green crack is your fucking weed, baby. Hello? Period. But the only reason I'm saying this is because these are the motherfuckers that are help pushing the little guys out. Amen. The big, big companies... They've stepped in. Uh huh. I used to be able to go get my trees from all these right. local dispensaries. Mm -hmm. And the price was competitive. And the quality was competitive. And it was from local growers and whatnot and all of that. Yeah, man, they like shut them down. Yep. Mm -hmm. See? So now you got to go through their stores, the ones who are affiliated with these people yep. we're talking about right now. Making these strains? Yeah, they're all clocked up and linked mm -hmm. up together. And I'm, I'm telling you because it's, it's, it's deep. Because, see, if you have a dispensary right now, if you're growing right now, mm -hmm. well, within the next eight years, that's when big, big business is going to step in. Like Philip Morris and all of these people. I mean, step right. the fuck in. Overnight. Mm -hmm. Overnight. And huh, all these little dispensaries like the people we're talking about right now, they're going to G the fuck off. Mm -hmm. millions and millions of millions they're going to get bought up right there and they're out the way yep. mm -hmm. All, and right now that industry is pushing and fucking with a lot of black people that grow right? Mm -hmm. brown people that That's grow true. Asian people that grow right. yo and, and I'm not dogging all white people that grow I'm not mm -hmm. saying that because I got some cool ass white I know this information from white people that grow. Mm -hmm. They're letting me know, hey, hey, man, they're really trying to, like, put a, put a, you know, they don't want brothers in this, man. Right. And that's why I'm going with the backyard boogies and all that. Because so then should we not even, talk, I mean, should we not no, even talk about the, because based on what you're saying, there was something in here that also talks about that because that name perpetuates a negative image, some people have taken a calling the strain Green Kush instead of Green Crack. But, yeah, but it's still coming anyway, from the same source. Because. It's coming from the same source. <coughs> as far as like... <coughs> I'm going to be honest. The first time I homie... <coughs> <coughs> what up, Ron Du? Ron Du and uh, Fort Green. Mm -hmm. Ron Du, a Brooklyn cat. said, yo, homie, yo, man. Because he got, he got the Cali. He had all the Cali shit. Mm -hmm. I'm in Brooklyn. I'm like, how are you getting shit from my home? Mm -hmm. <laughs> He's like, easy. I have a farm, my nigga. Ah, Brooklynite to the fullest. Half plane, will travel. Mm -hmm. Yo, he was growing his own thing. He said, look, man, I got this shit called green crack. I was like, ooh, 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 ooh. Wow. I don't want it. Mm -hmm. said, no, he laughed. That's just the name. I was like, I don't know. He said, that's just the name. And I understand that people not not wanting to call it uh, green crack. Mm -hmm. I'm not with that. Shit ain't got shit to do with crack. Get the fuck out of here with that. Okay. That's some ex-crackhead that started growing. That said, it's just like my new crack. Mm -hmm. Well, it's not like it ain't got shit to get that off. Green Kush, nigga, or whatever. Right. Green crack. Fuck you with that name. Yeah, well, I said it. The, okay, so Green Kush, which is, but it, it's a strain yes. that's supposed to be compatible with um, people coffee. who like drinking coffee. And it, it approximates the flavor of a, a morning cup of coffee. And if you are, uh, you like fruit juice, apparently the strain you're smoking right now is something that's very compatible with... Clementine? Uh, yes, Clementine. With orange juice. Yes, yes. <laughs> it's laden with citrus flavors. Oh, what if you like eating hamburgers? <laughs> <laughs> hey, oh. I'm just sharing things that I oh, think are OG Kush! <laughs> right. You like eating hamburgers? And if you... Right? If I you only like, like chili fries. Oh, chili fries? Yes. Oh, because you she know, don't. Now, I do know <laughs> that there are a lot of chefs out there who are making um, food based on, you know, the, 
what you yeah, like to yo, eat, and they chef, say chef out to chef magic to out ex- accentuate Reese, uh, what you uh, like. Chef mm-hmm. magic, he's a chef weed chef, right? And they um, yo, these chefs, man, this is they're doing they, some they, really they, amazing they, things. Yeah, I mean, it's like this: if you can cook, and you're a chef, then of do what you do with that THC butter. What? And then holla. Mm-hmm. And matter of fact, let's say. This is what I want. This is what I want. Okay. Okay. Oklahoma. Shouts out to my homie Joe Mitchum. Just started growing in Oklahoma. He's killing it. Dope ass motherfucking uh, dispensary. Everything legal, up to par, medical grade. Killing it. Mm -hmm. Killing it. Shouts out to you, Joe. That's my homie. Now, let's say you're out there. Okay. Right? Well, guess what? God damn it. You should be trying to make some kind of a motherfucking... uh, uh, cannabis barbecue, like so, yeah. I'm sure there is. Don't you think a cannabis know. sauce? I don't know. Uh, like uh, yeah, like uh, something. You know, like uh, something. So when you get a, a rack of motherfucking beef ribs and motherfuckers is lathered with some THC, some you know, yeah. Then you really want your fucking baby back. Yeah, there's like a Mary Jane's, uh, Mary Jane's marijuana barbecue sauce. See somebody's what I'm um, boom barbecue sauce. Okay. There are a few of them out there, but I guess you're right. If you're a chef, you're gonna know how to infuse the the. Um, it's, it's much butter, chef. Right. I mean, right. even if you're a novice motherfucker. <laughs> it, right. Cook with that, baby. Okay. Do you want to hear the rest of my? <laughs> What else do they say? Do you say? even want to hear? Okay, for wine, if you like drinking wine, Bubba Kush is supposed to be a good strain um, That's uh, it, because it has sweet, fruity, and chocolate, chocolatey nuances that um, are... are um, you, know, you know, you know. I like red I, wine. I just stop. Uh, oh, God. <laughs> I just can't take it. I'm just... It's, it's, it's not working for you? It's the fucking hipster fucko. Okay. Oh, you like your wine? Well, the nice it gets you very nice. Come on, come on. I ain't come on. Like it. Exactly. <laughs> Stop it. I know, but the, hey, let me tell so you what's something. the point of the different let strains? Me, oh, I'll tell what? you why. I'll okay. tell you why. Okay, why? I'll tell you why. What? I'll tell you why. Okay. I had some real motherfucker. I had some black. You know what black is? No. Brooklyn stand up. I had some black. Y'all mind a black. I have a block. You want block? Yeah, I have a dying block. Okay. Black is like this dark ass motherfucking yardy weed that they done doused with Guinness okay. and let dry out. And doused with Guinness again and let dry out. It's some. <laughs> as a Californian, <laughs> it's, right. it's quite a leap. <laughs> <laughs> You understand? It's okay. quite a motherfucking leap. Like, okay. yo, man, you can't be serious. They're like, yeah, man, yeah, if I try this, this a block. Mm-hmm. Oh, man, Guz, R.I.P. Guz. But, yo, I rolled this. Okay. They had that uh-huh. black. And I think they had some some uh, Hennessy. Mm-hmm. Okay? Now, that black and that Hennessy combo, superb. Okay. <laughs> It didn't matter though. Um, no, it's just it's, something it's, else it's, to you, take it to. It didn't take it to another level for you. you? Look, did, did it take it to another level? It, what the point I'm making? <laughs> it did, okay. Go ahead. Is if you go get we get you right. right. Okay. And it's only one right. Yep. So it doesn't Don't even matter. Play, it, is, it doesn't matter. Explain yourself. I mean, there's different, you know, yes, definitely different types of highs and all that. Mm -hmm. But what you do with it, that's some motherfucking dickhead that's writing a column that has to have this written so he can get his fucking check. Okay. So do you smoke different strains of weeds for different types of highs? Not really. No, fucking no. I smoke them all for all types. (laughs) There you go. go. Okay. So this is so my whole weed look, research look, thing hold is pointless. Hold on, because let me tell you, it's okay. funny. I got to tell this story. Okay. This is Veterans Day, and it's, uh-huh. it hit me yesterday. That shit was, you know, I'm, yo, being a veteran, man, I don't give a fuck. If you didn't, and some people, you know, say, oh, yeah, and they said, you were at a typewriter. Hey, man, I, I, that ain't what it's, mm. that ain't, no, 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 no. Right. It's the fact that you stepped out of your fucking self and said, yes. look, I'm going to give something back. I'm going to try to, mm-hmm. I'm going to go to the fucking 
country. I'm gonna do something. Mm-hmm. I'm gonna try to do the right thing. Yeah. That's that's that's, that's what it is. I'm, in your mind at that time, you want to do the right thing. Mm-hmm. Hats off to everyone who did that. Yes. Yo, my ass was in some different shit. I was in the Cold War. Mm-hmm. A Cold War participant. Mm-hmm. For real, for real. And I didn't even understand it until right. I looked back on it. Yes. Yep. Like, how fucking absurd this shit. Mm-hmm. One of, the first time that I ever really, you know, I, I smoked weed one time in the Army. Mm-hmm. Okay. And this was like, I had smoked before, and it was like, you know, I kind of felt it, you know, but it went away. It was like, well, what the fuck is that? Ain't nothing. Mm-hmm. We went to the field. We were in Berlin. Berlin is, I mean, we were in Doughboy City in Berlin. Doughboy City is a fake-ass city. Mm-hmm. Shit is, we was in the winter, whatever temperature it is in Berlin, it's eight degrees colder in Doughboy City because yeah. it's all fucking ca- it's cinder blocks. The whole city is concrete. Mm-hmm. Okay? Cold than a motherfucker. We got in the field. We got back in the barracks. This was winter and shit. I had been out there for like 45 days. Ew. Like, yeah, this shit was a hardship. Like, right. you, you hit that shower. I was like, yo, I was going to meet this, this chick at a fucking, uh, at her job. And I was in, I remember I was, I was fresh. I was like, yeah, I was dressed, ready to go. <laughs> I was in the bathroom, this motherfucker named, uh, named Hannah. That was his first name. I don't even remember. He had a fucked up last name. So mm-hmm. we just called him Hannah C., whatever his last name was, from Arizona. A pie head, like. He, said a he had a pie head motherfucker, man. Like, <laughs> yeah, he was, he was like, and he, but he was, he was a cool ass essay. He was like, hey, what's up? He was from Arizona. He was like, California, Arizona. Right, right. You're in Berlin. That's the homie. Mm-hmm. Like, what right. up, homie? He's like, hey, man. I said, he was still fucked up, filthy, dirt. Like, yo, you the fuck? Y'all just getting in? He's like, yeah, the fucking kiss-ass fucking platoon sergeant. <laughs> I'm like, oh, that sucks. Because that means everyone else is done. But your platoon sergeant says, and we'll do the extra cleanup. Oh, yeah. We'll. Yeah, <laughs> right, Will. Nigga, ain't no Will, you fucking fuck. <laughs> right, He right. says that, all right, make sure it's right. He goes home. The rest of the fucks are doing everything. Yes. He was one of those. Okay. He said, but I don't give a fuck. And he held up this fucking black piece of clay. He said, because I got some fucking black Moroccan bubble gum, Holmes. Uh-oh. I was like, black Moroccan bubble gum? <laughs> The fuck is that? You chew that? He's like, yeah. Yeah, yeah, right. <laughs> you're yeah. fucking hilarious. You're fucking, <laughs> fucking hilarious. Just come to my room, man. I'm a child. Come to my room. I got you. I got you. I was like, mm, shit. <laughs> fuck it. I'll go. I'll yeah. go. He's he, him in his room was this white boy named Champagne, Paul Champagne. Yes, <laughs> Paul Champagne looks. <laughs> Look like the white dude on fucking Jefferson's. The Bentley motherfucker. <laughs> okay, right, right. Long head, all that. Long head. Right. <laughs> Pour champagne. Uh-huh. So we go in. I go in there. Pour champagne. Hey, what you going on, fella? How about you, man? <laughs> Came by for a little uh, black Moroccan bubble gum. Man. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, yeah, 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 whatever. So I go in there. I'm looking at these motherfuckers. I got pie head and the number one head. His right. head looked like a big ass one. <laughs> yeah, you know what I'm saying? It's a right. ten. Right, right. I got hell, you know? <laughs> and I'm looking at these characters. Mm-hmm. And I wouldn't hang with these motherfuckers. Right. They're cool, but, you know, I would not hang. I, I, that wasn't my crew. Right. You know, my crew was, was fucking the fighters, the rabble rousers, the, <laughs> the niggas. <clears throat> They danced on the line. Like, <laughs> what? what? Right. They, you know, right. anyway, I'm sitting here and he take this shit and they roll it and they, I'm like, what is this? He says, why aren't you? And they empty the cigarette and they just put it in the cigarette. This black Moroccan bubble gum. He says, it's hash. I was like, oh, hash. Oh, I've heard of hash. Well, I got these guys. They were all with you. I was like, fuck it, man. I, I smoked it. I smoked okay. the hash. Okay. And I was, you know, I was like, well, man, I got to fucking go. What the right, fuck right, is right. this? Like, what are we doing? I just don't. I'm standing here with the number 10. Right. 
<laughs> and he's for what? He's like, do you feel it? And I'm like, yeah, I'm out, man. I got to go meet this chick, man. So <laughs> I bounce. Okay. I get in a fucking taxi. Oh. I'm in Berlin, man. It's snowing. Oh. I'm with the fucking German motherfucking taxi. And he's bumping the, the, the all-time Berlin favorite. Mm -hmm. Life is life. La, 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 la. Life is life. La, 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 la. And then they say some shit in German like, Und Wunschklausen bieten dir. Wunschklausen bieten dir. Wunschklausen bieten dir. Und Wunschklausen bieten dir. Life is life. La, 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 la. And I'm sitting there like, yeah, life is life. And he says, so oh, how are you doing tonight? I'm like, I'm cool, man. And I remember looking out the window and then the snowflakes was falling. That's when that motherfucking black bubblegum Moroccan kicked the fuck in. Oh. Like, I was looking at the snow and the snow went from going to going like. Oh my God. And then I could hear him hitting the window like. And I said, yo, do you hear that snow? <laughs> do you hear that snow? He said, was is that? <laughs> that means, what is that? I said, that snow, do you hear that snow? Is it me or do you hear that snow? He says, I hear a lot of things, but I don't hear snow. <laughs> and then, oh, man. I started getting hot <laughs> and warm. I was like, yo, man, turn that fucking heat off. He says, oh, I don't have heat. Even the front window is open. I can light more. I said, yeah, put it down, put it down. I'm hitting. Now, this is the fly shit. In Berlin, all the fucking, all the taxis are Benzes. Right. Uh -huh. All Mercedes Benz. Right. 500 series. Right. I'm in a Benz in Berlin. Fucking 18 years old. <laughs> I was 18. <laughs> right? You and bubblegum. Was it bubblegum? Black, Black Moroccan bubblegum. Bubble okay. Okay. And, I, man, I said, yo, man, pull. Hey, man, I don't feel right. He says, what's wrong? I said, hey, man. He says, are you drunk? I said, nah, nah, I'm not drunk. I smoked some black Moroccan bubble gum. He said, oh, that is the best. I said, I never, I never did this before. He says, oh, you're in for a very good treat. And I'm like, it don't feel like no treat. Honey. I'm like, yo, man, pull over, pull over. He says, what's wrong? I said, I think I'm going to throw up, man. I think I'm going to mm -hmm. throw up. Because there was. I was getting nauseous. Like, whoa, this shit is like, <laughs> you know. Like, yeah, yeah. I'm high, and I ain't never been high. Yeah. Man, listen. <laughs> I got out the car, grabbed a handful of snow, <laughs> doused my shit. Really? Hell yeah. And I just got back in the car, and he says, <laughs> You look like a snowman. <laughs> That's what I'm gonna say. A snowman hopped in my Mercedes today. <laughs> and because I had the snow on my face, I wanted to keep it there. Like, nah, nigga, like, whatever. Right. The snow is on my face. I'm like, wow. And then, I, then it was like, I calmed down. I got. And then he's in the fucking song. La 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 la. Life is life. La, 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 la. I'm like, oh. and then the next song came on. And the next song was some uh, some other shit. Some, oh, who? Some Dave Brubeck. Mm -hmm. I remember this shit. Mm -hmm. <laughs> right? <laughs> And I'm high, I'm like, and we're still driving now, and it's like, 
And I, I stopped fighting it, though. I just rolled with it. Like, fuck it, you can't win, nigga. I put my head on that cold-ass That's window. window right, right. And I was like, ding, ding, ding. when it got to the park, bim, 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 bim. I felt victorious. Like, dun, 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 dun. Dave Brubeck, man. Oh, my God. Hell yeah, this shit is fly. I know Dave Brubeck. That's that's a household. I grew right, up with that. Right. Pops. And I said, yeah, Dave Brubeck, take five. He's like, oh, you know this? I said, yeah, nigga. Art Farmer's my cousin, man. <laughs> Art Farmer! <laughs> you know jazz? I said, hell yeah. Oh now God. I'm high, I'm riding, and then bam. we get. He says, oh, here's the officer's club. I'm like, oh. Oh, <laughs> Like, wow. Like, so abruptly, we was about to get live, and we're uh -huh. here. Uh-huh. So I straightened myself up. Now, here's the thing. I'm a fucking private first class at that time at mm. E3. Mm -hmm. I'm not supposed to be at the office. I was club. wondering about that. It's illegal. Yeah. Okay? But fuck that. I'm picking up a chick that works here, and we're out of here. <laughs> okay. Okay. Now, mind you. This is was fuckery. I'm 18. She was 17. Oh, God. Oh, Understand? God. Oh, God. Oh, God. Oh, God. No, I didn't have sex with this chick. No, I'm just But I'm 18. The optics. You can't tell an 18-year-old that he can't fuck a 17-year-old. Right. But, motherfucker, that is the law. And in the fucking military yeah. is what they call a mandatory sentencing for statutory rape. <laughs> So it doesn't matter if she's consenting. It doesn't matter if her parents are consenting. <laughs> you are a soldier. You are a piece of equipment. Mm -hmm. And they do not allow pieces of equipment to fuck anyone under the age of 18. Mm -hmm. So you tell an 18-year-old that he can't, <laughs> I'm dumb. I'm 18. <laughs> it didn't matter to me. I was picking this chick up. She's going to be 18. By the time I get the pussy, she'll be 18. <laughs> <laughs> I'm fucking putting it in. I'm just laying the groundwork. Right, 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 right. You know what I'm saying? This chick's about to be 18 in a couple of, you know, weeks or something, right, a month right. or something. Right, I, I, You know? Right. I'm like, yeah, you're fair game. Where you, the officer's club? Yeah, I'll pick you up. Hell yeah. You got to make it quick, though. <laughs> I'm not supposed to be in that motherfucker, bitch. Understand, I'm not an officer. Right. So I go to the officer's club in Berlin, right? You went inside? Hell yeah, I went inside. Oh, my inside. God. And I looked, and she was like, five minutes. <laughs> I was like, cool. And I had to, you know, I had to, it was like, I had to shit. For, okay. That weed. That you I was got like, it. It, I was, it got that, you, right, This right. is why I was so hot. Right, right. <laughs> you know, the weed was like, I'm about to get all the negativity out of you, motherfucker. I'm like, I didn't understand. What is going on? I had to shit. Bad. Right. Oh, God. Bad. So I'm like, cool. I go to the fucking bathroom. I know where it's at because I had a detail at the officer's club before. We had to paint some fucking walls the same color. Right. Like fucking yards and yards of walls the exact same color. You couldn't even tell where you ended and where you began every day. Like, right. Right. You know, and okay. once I figured that out, I was like, oh, guess what? Right. <laughs> Oh yeah, I painted all of that. Right, yeah, it's done. Check, it's motherfucker. Done. Yeah, it's check, done. check, check, it's check. Done. Tell me I didn't. Right. Exactly. You right. have me out here like a dumbass. Right. I have you out here like a dumbass. Exactly. Oh, anyway, so I knew where the bathroom was. I hit the fucking bathroom. Now let me tell you. There's a lot of things that are good when you're high. Keep it 100. Taking a good piss when you you really gotta when you. Like walk through Disneyland and you finally find that <laughs> motherfucker. Right, right, right. You know, and uh -huh. you hit it and ah, uh, like that. Yeah. When you're high, it's like, like you'll sing, just the two of us. <laughs> I'll be them castles in the sky. You know, like it's, it's just, like heaven. It's like right. heaven, right? Yeah. Also, defecation. The act of defecation yeah. when you high is like what. <laughs> All the bullshit out of me right now. <laughs> cleansing, cleansing. I'm about to flush all that negative shit. I think right. of all the people I hate. Oh yeah, whatever. <laughs> get him out. Get him out. Get him out. So this was one of them times where it was like, wow. Mm -hmm. This was like necessary. Like the relief. Like, wow. 
wow, like, yeah, it's in an empty ass bathroom. Okay. And it's dawning, yeah, and it's the officer's bathroom. Yeah, <laughs> fuck y'all. Right. Salute, motherfuckers. <laughs> and then I look. Oh, no. And on the toilet paper dispensary is a wallet. Oh, only you. A wallet, right, only me. <laughs> so I look at the wallet and I open it. <laughs> When I opened and saw what was in this wallet, oh. a whole nother round of departure of my bowels. <laughs> I began. Instant. I began. It's like, like, it was just like. The instant. bottom was out. <laughs> <laughs> like my navel touched my spine. <laughs> like a trap door. Like. <laughs> it was a motherfucking badge. And an ID, Criminal Investigation Division, oh, wow. oh, oh, my goodness. United oh, States God. Army, Berlin Brigade. Oh my goodness! Criminal Investigation, <laughs> CID, is the military's FBI. Mm -hmm. Okay. Mm -hmm. Now. Oh God. I'm holding a bag. Picking up a 17-year-old with an ID. <laughs> Yeah, picking up a 17-year-old at the officer's club. At the officer's club. Wow, I'm high. <laughs> a black Moroccan bubble, bubble gum. gum. Moroccan, right. that means it's from out of the country. <laughs> now it starts dawning on me where the fuck I am. Oh. <laughs> I'm not at Fort Lee, Virginia. I'm not at Fort Hood, Texas. Hey. I'm not at Fort Knox, Kentucky. No. You're in Berlin. I am in West Berlin. Every fucking body that is does what I did in West Berlin had to have a top secret clearance. I had a top secret clearance. They talk to baseball coaches. They talk to teachers. They talk right, to, you to neighbors that, right. that I didn't know. From kindergarten. Oh, <laughs> they they knew all of that shit. Mm -hmm, By the mm -hmm. time I I was one out of 600 graduates, the only one that went to Berlin. Okay. Wow. The only one out of 600 motherfuckers graduating, only I went to Berlin. When I went to Berlin, my fucking first sergeant said it. How the fuck did you get Berlin? <laughs> I'm like, I don't know. Everybody's going to Germany. No, 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 motherfucker. Everyone's going to Germany. You're going to Berlin. I'm like, what the fuck is Berlin? He's like, listen, man. I've been in the army for 26 years. I've applied to assignment in Berlin eight times and denied every time Damn. and I'm a decorated first sergeant. Damn. You got people in your government and you're like, no. You're a, a judge. I'm like, look, man. I didn't say, look, man. I'm like, first sergeant. Uh, <laughs> I have like, no idea. All right. Okay. Well, I went to Berlin and I had a top secret clearance. Berlin at that time, 1985, mm -hmm. Berlin was in the cold, the wall was up. Mm -hmm. I went behind the wall. Yeah, mm -hmm. I went on what was called, I was assigned to what they called the last outpost of freedom. Mm -hmm. yeah. Russia, Germany was divided into East Germany and West Germany. Mm -hmm. Two different countries. West Germany, you had Frankfurt, Mittenwald, Wielflicken. Yeah, and the Black Forest and Cuckoo Clocks. You had all of that in West Germany. In East Germany, you had Russians. Because East Germany was a Russian black country mm -hmm. governed and owned by the USSR, the Russian, the, the mm -hmm. Communist Party. Okay, well, 110 miles behind the border of West Germany and East Germany, behind that border, 110 miles behind that in East Germany is Berlin. Mm -hmm. And that city has a wall all the way around it and a wall up the middle. Okay. Okay. The reason I'm saying all of this is because this was at the height of the Cold War. Mm -hmm. right. 
it was a pure, what is a cold war? Cold war is everything that goes on in war except the exchange of actual gunfire. Right. Mm-hmm. Meaning espionage goes on, meaning motherfucking um, <laughs> espionage, man, spying, all right. that shit. Yo, man, niggas was getting locked the fuck up. Mm-hmm. We had a goofy motherfucker named Rivers that was boning this bad chick. Like, how did your ugly ass get this bad chick? Oh, man, the bitches love me. It's like, <laughs> well, what do you know? This nigga got arrested. That bitch that was fucking him, that supermodel, was a was spy. spy. Wow. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, they arrested this fool. Yeah. They arrest nigga. You're going to Mannheim. Mm-hmm. That is the prison in military prison in Germany. They t- they took. The, he's like, but I didn't know. I didn't know. I know you didn't know, nigga. You. <laughs> Anyone, come on. It's, you're funny looking ass. <laughs> you should have known. You just should have known that this we is not a real was, thing. Right. We were telling you, homie. And watch like, this bitch. <laughs> right. Right. This nigga was giving her manuals. <laughs> All I did was give her some M16 manuals. <laughs> All I did. That's all oh you did. Guess who locked him up? Criminal Investigation Division. Oh, okay. CID. And I'm holding, holding the badge fuck. on the toilet. Oh, man. It was like, anytime you get in trouble, you you also have another charge put on you. It's an international charge. Mm-hmm. In the international courts. And it's called some, causing a national incident. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Meaning, motherfucker... <laughs> <laughs> you have fucked up <laughs> beyond fucked up. Right. That's what I was looking. That's what it was to me. So it what? was like this. They got me. The whole thing. The weed. Cause I'm all high. because you're looking at the badge, so your mind is yeah, just like crazy. I'm getting paranoid. I'm high. <laughs> <laughs> it was all a set. They knew. Right. They know this bitch. This young kid. She's a spy. <laughs> Oh man! Got up, washed my hands, looked in the mirror like, nigga. This is it. <laughs> Dead man walking. You're probably not gonna look in the mirror for years, nigga. Oh. They don't allow prisoners to have military in a military prison. There's no mirror. You like convicted yourself, <laughs> sent yourself off to yes, prison. Yes, nigga, I caused a national incident. This is Berlin. <laughs> I'm in communication. Okay. I have some motherfucking weed. Where did that weed come from? A spy. It's all a hook. <laughs> Look, it was a oh, setup. I they set you up. <laughs> oh, I fucked up. <laughs> good thing I never fucking boned this little chick. Good kid. She's a good kid. I don't want to see this bitch for another year. What did you do? So I walked out there. Now, here's where it really got grimy. There was a desk that was empty when I came in. Or maybe it wasn't. I had to shit. <laughs> so you don't really know. I didn't know. <laughs> but then here it was. There's a motherfucker sitting at the desk. Uh-oh. A white boy. Uh-oh. A lieutenant. Oh. Of course. He's at the officer's right, club. Right, right. I was like, this is it. I mean, <laughs> they got me. <laughs> Go on without I'm me. looking around for cameras. <laughs> like, I know they're filming me. <laughs> so I walked over to the dude, and the chick comes out, hey, you ready? I'm like, here you go, man. And I threw it on, our, on the fucking desk. I said, got me. <laughs> what? Yeah, you, you, didn't, didn't, don't fight. you don't fight the right, feds, right, Linda. Right. <laughs> But you don't the, fight the feds. But you the feds are there, the, you just go with them. So go with them, make it easy on yourself. yourself. Don't just, fight the feds. <laughs> okay. It's not a state trooper. Okay. Okay. <laughs> it's not some fucking local flat foot. Oh it's a God. goddamn CID. This is the feds. <laughs> okay. This is dress dress shoes and suits, man. Uh-huh. Okay. Okay. These motherfuckers, they, they don't get dirty. They got a whole team for that. Oh okay. God. I said, you got me. <laughs> oh, he looked at me, looked at the wallet, picked it up. He says, oh, wow, he was, he was just here. I'll make sure he gets a good job, soldier. <laughs> 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 okay. Said, 
Good job, soldier. Uh-huh. Good job, soldier. Oh, my God. She said, are you ready? Uh -huh. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah, let's go. <laughs> and then, man, she's just talking and talking and talking. <laughs> I was listening to her, and I kept looking around like, Somebody coming out after me? Like, is this part of the plot? This <laughs> is where, you know, this is <laughs> mm -hmm. this fucked up, man. Oh Crazy. I ate some good-ass food. I remember that. I had some good-ass motherfucking strudel. Okay. Yes. No, not strudel. Schnitzel. Schnitzel? Yeah, schnitzel. Mit Pumfritz, bitte. Yeah, yeah. Und einen Doppelbock. You know what a Doppelbock is? No. That's a dark-ass beer. That's a oh. bomb beer. Was it? Super dark. Super dark, like that shit is like Guinness is, is light compared to this Doppelbach. Right. That shit will put you. <laughs> I had How long Doppel did that high last? Did it like? Oh man, it seemed like the whole fucking weekend. Mm, wow. Because it was like you know, mm -hmm. you, this is the first time. So it was like, I remember like <laughs> turning my head was like. Doo, 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 doo. <laughs> <laughs> doo, 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 doo. <laughs> You know what I'm saying? Right. And then uh -huh. I remember, like, like. Um, also, I remember coming home and putting some, back, not home, but to my barracks that day after that chick, because I was like, hey, I'm not fucking you, bitch, till right. another fucking month. Hang <laughs> right. it up, eat Show up, come on, kid. Show me your birth certificate. And then she'll be ordering for the kids' meal. <laughs> I'm here as a chaperone. <laughs> oh, God. Yeah, uh, fuck that. Okay, I have some good news. What's you up? were talking about this last week. Okay. And earlier before you arrived, Colin Kaepernick tweeted, I'm just getting word from my representatives that the NFL League office reached out to um, a team in Atlanta, to Atlanta for a workout on this coming Saturday. He says, I'm, I've been in shape. And I'm ready for the. I've been ready for this for three years. Can't wait to see the head coaches and the GMs on Saturdays. We don't care about football. We don't care about basketball. That's just a sport. Play with fast if you want. We will show you sports, motherfucker. <laughs> okay. Nigerian attorney, get it. Nigerian attorney. Hell yeah. Okay, I, I have something all that's that. funny. What else? That's funny because I'm like, let's just try this. So there's a thing, a new thing. Um, that a lot of people are doing, and because black people are so incredibly creative, that this is one of the things that... <laughs> I'm starting to doubt this with the way no, these no, no, motherfuckers no. act with chicken sandwiches. Uh, well, yeah, oh, my God. Disappointed that, in us. That, yes, come on, the chicken Lost sandwich. Lost a lot of things. You know what I'm saying? Right, that's some Fucking bullshit. Malcolm X is spinning in his grave right, right now. Right, Over there, that's some Martin bullshit. Martin Luther King is twirling, doing somersaults in his right. grave. Right, like, oh are we really God. fighting over fucking chicken sandwiches that pop Are we really that slamming out? old ladies? Yeah, right, exactly, exactly. Oh, chicken sandwiches? Sandwiches, you fat fuck. Y'all I'm, I'm not. Shit. I'm right. But and, uh, um, speaking of taking pictures and posing, there is a new trend or a trend that's becoming very popular. It's a bizarre um, thing called basically you're taking um, dead people are being embalmed in um, lifelike poses. They're being embalmed in lifelike poses. And it's called extreme embalming, and the body is preserved with, you know, the embalming fluid. But the people are being embalmed, say, for instance, a woman uh, at her dining room table with her favorite drink and a pack of cigarettes. Her body is propped up like that, and that's... I have the pictures for it. I'm not... No. First, okay, Wait, listen. no, wait. Listen, let me give you the, 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 the rundown. <laughs> um, there was a young man who was embalmed, and I have pictures of every single one of these. Um, a young man embalmed. He's he's posed up with his Xbox, and this uh, he was he it was a young man who was shot, but he's with his Xbox and he's all you know geared out. Um, a musician was embalmed on a stage in New Orleans with his fa and people. The family gathers around and they take photos. Green a Green Lantern fan was embalmed with his superhero costume on. A guy was put on a motorcycle, oh, and all these things are at the actual, um, you know, wake. The, 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 me? I, 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 no, I don't know. But basically, I the way. Be embalmed, wait, the, the way they're. Kicking the shit out of Donald Trump. <laughs> He gotta be there. But yeah, yeah, he gotta be there, right? It said the no, corpses are forced into position by having their feet nailed to the floor, poles erected behind their backs, or whatever. And when you see the pictures, you're, I'm I'm not kidding. I'm not kidding. Listen, it's I'm sure unbelievable. You're not kidding. First and people off, take pictures with them. They 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 pose with them. Listen, listen. 
I just want you all to First see this off, because I was most. This okay. is nothing new. No. Okay. I see these motherfuckers. Nigga, why the hell would I want to look at this? Let me see. This is her family. I got a bubblegum and rockin'. Okay. Right, right. This, this is the dude that's. Ah! <laughs> the Xbox. No. I'm not kidding. Okay. Oh, this is the musician. Wow. That's his family. Let me see. Let me find the Green Lantern. There's a Green Lantern for oh, you. Oh, wow. Oh, they all black people, too. No, there's a, um, he, this is a poker game. They're, they're um, Hispanic here. Oh, wow. And, um, you know, this guy's driving his car. Hold on. Go to that poker. Go to that poker. <laughs> and that's how I want to go out, eh? <laughs> no, homes. Fuck that, eh? Like. Like I finally hit the jackpot, eh? Like a full house. <laughs> so make sure that the cards are like full house. <laughs> right. <laughs> I'm telling you, homes. If, if I'm asking you, hey, beloved, eh? Check it out, homes. Like if, if you don't do this, eh? I'm gonna fucking haunt you, eh? I'm serious, homes. Like I'm gonna show up at your fucking your your youngest daughter's kitchen, <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> Like, like as a ghost, start fucking all the aunties, eh? The aunties are gonna be at the kitchen, yeti getting fucked, eh? And it's gonna be me, cause you didn't bury me at a poker game. What? Alright? I'm like, that's a whole. Do you have, I got your fucking word cutting out. You're gonna fucking (laughs) bury me playing fucking cards, eh? Don't play around, oh fuck her. I'm serious and no, uh, hey, hey, fuck, hey, where, where the fuck is Joker? Hey, get in here. <laughs> hey, listen, fucker. It's gonna be fucking, uh, fucking poker, okay? Oh my, god. Don't, oh my god. Don't let this fucker, like, make me be playing war or, <laughs> or go fish or some bullshit. It needs to be poker. Right? Yeah, poker. Everyone knows, okay? So hey, I'll fucking hunt you, Joker. <laughs> What are they? Isn't so that that's crazy? Understood. I don't know. Like, it, where would you, where would you be embalmed as? Yo, I'm gonna tell you. See me. I, when it comes to all of that, everybody teaches on, but me, I have, according to my family's religion, mm-hmm. I, we don't, we're, we're not, we request not to be embalmed. I agree. I don't. We don't. Be we don't either. embalm. And not only that, but. I, my brothers and sisters, we all, my uncle, we all actually prepared my parents' bodies. Okay. Wow. That's probably That wasn't mm-hmm. handed to a, uh, a uh, what do you call it? Uh-huh. A, 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 a coroner. I mean, a, the, a, not the coroner, a, but the um, funeral parlor. The mortician. The mortician. Thank you. Yes. You know, it's, it's all to, wow. we, yeah, we don't What was that like? There. What was that like? I'm going to tell you. Before you do it, it seems like, oh, I could, you, you really bug out. Right. But when you do it, you realize that, uh, guess what? I do not want to go any other way than the way that my parents do. Because who more? Who's going to take yep. care of your loved ones more, more than, than you? More than you are. Right, uh, right. Who's going to? And let me tell you, man, it was, it was crazy. You know, with my father, we had jazz playing. Nice. It was me, my little brother, my older brother, mm-hmm. God rest his soul, my brother-in-law, my nephew, wow, wow, and my sister. Mm-hmm. My mom, she was alive. She didn't do. It, it was my sister too. Wow. Mm-hmm. And she, you know, when it, it, she for a portion, she left the room because it was all men. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And let me tell you, I, I shaved my father. Wow, I did. You understand? My sister clipped my father's nails. Mm-hmm. And my mother's. My sister prepared my mother's hair. Mm-hmm. Me and my brothers, we had jazz playing, baby. Yeah. We read prayers. Mm-hmm. We, we bathed my pops with rose water. Wow. We wrapped his feet in silk. We wrapped him. In silk, we picked him up, placed him in the casket, oh sealed gosh. the casket. We did that. Mm. We put him in the ground, put the dirt on top of him. Mm-hmm. That's their physical remains. That's, that's not even them. Yes. I fully, fully, fully understand that concept. Wow. I can't even to the point that when my mom passed, 
five years after that, and we had blues playing because that was her thing. Pops was jazz, moms was blues. Muddy Waters playing, you know, and we wrapped my mom in silk. We we put their their burial rings on their hands. We said the prayers for the departed. You know, they're mm-hmm. Baha'is. My parents were Baha'is. They were from Baha'i faith. And that's wow. the Baha'i laws. You, if you are living, and if you can, you do that. And it seems bizarre at first, but then you understand, well, this is the most natural shit you right. could exactly. ever do. Exactly, right, right, right. There's nothing more natural. Well, because And then you start understanding, yo, this is game. Yeah. Motherfuckers exactly. make game off of death. Oh, we'll put him like he's playing tennis. Mm-hmm. Man, this motherfucker doesn't give a fuck about this body. That's for you. Yeah. You're playing to me. I'm not judging. You get down how you want to get down. Right. I just know what I've done, and that is the most reassuring. Mm-hmm. That that That's when so, my mom. So much love. Let me tell you, man. It, it when my mom passed, it's almost like when. They pass, I almost feel ashamed to be grieving mm-hmm. because it's my wish. Right. I wish I could see you. Mm-hmm. That's not how it's right. It's like, yo, I, I understand that this life here, this shit is uh, temporary. Mm-hmm. We're moving through it. Mm-hmm. It does not stop here. It keeps going. Right. This body and shit is like uh, it's it's a gift. It's it's our temple mm-hmm. for this soul, but it's just basically a vehicle. When we shake this motherfucker, this motherfucker turns to the dust it came from. Right. That's the gift we have. It's life. That's a come. I don't. You know. I'm not one of these motherfuckers that uh. You know. It's. It, I, again. And before <laughs> there were more, deep. T- I don't give right. a fuck be- either because we talking about. I'm talking about my parents, right? And I'm humbled by that, exactly. And I'm. It's such a good feeling to know that um, I have to worry about no bullshit that went on, mm-hmm. and you know now my wife understands how I want to go, right? You know, God forbid that I, you know, mm-hmm. I don't. She'll take care of that. I'm sure right. of that. And my family, it's like that's the only way that I can go. Mm-hmm. You know, before there were morticians and funeral parlors, that's the way bodies, families prepared their loved ones. You and, know, and, and that's the way that was the way that's it the was. Way a and, lot of families do exactly, it right now. Today. Exactly. Yeah. In this whole world, see, we get mm-hmm. you see. I'm sorry, man, but I just constantly say it. When you go out this country, yeah, and you come back. When you out this country and you look at this country, woo, you see what the fuck's going on. Mm-hmm. It's crazy. Yeah. Mm-hmm. yeah. Exactly. I will tell you, I was in Uptown. I always tell this story, but I'll tell it again so you don't got to go through the other past shows, but it's a quick one. I'm in fucking Canada, right? Mm-hmm. I buy a pack of cigarettes. Huh. I say, yo, I want a pack of uh, Newports. Yes, yeah, the worst cigarettes that they made to kill niggas, I know. Mm-hmm. Don't tell me. What happened the last time we came to a Newport? It's mm-hmm. my first joke. Mm-hmm. Right. They put you all on. Mm-hmm. Def Jam, 95. Do your, uh, do your history. I can't find it. Maybe you yeah. can. <laughs> that's another story. Right, that's another story. That's another story. Right, another story. Right, right, exactly, exactly. Okay, we need a health tip. We need wait, a health wait, tip. Wait, wait, wait. Why health tip? Why because okay, it's that time. It. You want to go there? Yeah. What you got? What'd sauerkraut. You got? Okay, sauerkraut benefits. Um, it's full of probiotics. It's good for your immune system. It's a good source of vitamin K. It has vitamin A and C, and um, it's critical for maintaining good vision and reducing inflammation. And it's easy to digest. Yeah. Oh, I didn't know that. Yeah. And I've never been a fan of sauerkraut. I had a fucked up dream one night. Let me tell you this, and then we can go. Okay. It was fucked up. And this is one of my first jokes in stand-up. Okay. Because I had to turn it into, it was a real dream that I had. Okay. Okay. I had a dream. I was asleep, right? I was sleeping. And in this dream, I was on a wagon train, okay. <laughs> right? Okay. I was on a wagon train, and I was driving this wagon train. <laughs> and I looked over, and it was Kim Fields. Okay. Now, Kim Fields, 
she's just standing there. She says, hey, you know, Kim Fields, Tootie from right. Facts of Life. Yeah, yeah. She's like, hey, but she's a woman and I'm a man. It's like, I'm looking at Tootie like, yo, you Tootie. She said, yeah. And she took her breast out. She said, suck my titty. Oh. And I said, you damn right. And I started <laughs> sucking her titty in the dream. Right? And I, I like, woke up. Uh. And it was Kim Fields on a Slim Fast commercial on TV. <laughs> Right? I'm like, yo. <laughs> and then I was like, oh, thank goodness. Because Tommy Lasorda also had a slim, fast commercial. <laughs> that would have been fucked, fucked up. up. That would have been really fucked up. Horrifying. That would have been a nightmare. <laughs> you would be damaged. I might have had a heart attack yeah, at that dream. Yeah, yeah, yeah exactly. But no, that turned out into one of my first shows. That's, That's funny. Anyway. That's funny. So there it is. All right, everybody, we, we thank you for being here. Yes, we like, thank you. Like, subscribe. Hit the like. What is, do you call Backyard Boogie Strain? No, the Backyard Boogie, after? I really want to support them, tell you, because this right. is shit you could do as a family. You're supposed to be teaching your kids this. Okay. My, my homie, man, shouts out to my to my, to my my dude in uh, Dina and Pasadena. My homie 12, yeah, my mm -hmm. homie in, uh, in West Covina, all my family out there, all of my people in uh, fucking... Uh, up in Altadena, all the, all the backyard boogie growers. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna, I'm telling you, well, let's do, well, we're gonna okay. have some kind of little picnic or something because this is just shit you should know. Amen. It don't take a lot. Right on. You should be teaching your grandma should have a plan. She probably does. Now I got my greens right. I got all my China greens right here. I got my my um, my dandelion greens right here. Oh, and right here now, right there. That's why I got my OG barley Kush. Yeah, <laughs> yeah that's my barley Kush. That's the part that's grown on the side of the house, yeah, in between she, the garage she, and the fence. Tell you something. <laughs> now you done had greens, right, Linda? Yeah, yeah. Well, yeah. you ain't had barley Kush greens. Now, I'm going to tell you that now. You see them big old fan leaves that the white boys throw away? Right. I put all of them in a pot. All of them. I throw all them of around. Them. Now, who, you know who taught me that? Who? My Jamaican gentleman friend. <laughs> Your Jamaican <laughs> gentleman friend. <laughs> right. Jamaican gentleman. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Okay. Talk to him. Sure. <laughs> oh, oh, absolutely. We Ab call him on the freeway. Go ahead. Dial him up. Hold on. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, only they call him because he be having all kind of. He's a gentleman. Is he? Is he he's still a good friend? Clyde. <laughs> I got my grandson on the phone, Clyde. He, he was concerned about you and I's relationship. <laughs> Shut up, baby. I know how you say it. Clive, tell him what you was telling me. <laughs> yeah, mama, me I tell your grandmama. Yeah. Me I tell your grandma she have to put all the big fan leaves in the in the, in the green pot, man. Right. Yeah, we have a callalu, you have a dandelion green. Yeah, you have a dandelion green, you have a you have a what, what's the other one, Granny? What you call? <laughs> Uh, I got that. Oh, colored green. Yeah, you have a colored green. Okay, you take all your green. You take a fan leaf and all the trim from a marijuana leaf. And you mix that on your green, Granny. And your grandma called me back. She say, I back no hurt no more. She, she very nimble now. And she want I to come see her. Oh, she's feeling frisky. She's feeling all right. All frisky. And that's when I say, well, you know, I have to talk to your, to your grandson first. <laughs> so that's why, yeah, I mean, I tell her, tell her to call me. Like, listen. Oh. You think I'm gonna give you permission to break off my grandma? Let me tell you something. Nigga. It's not happening. Nigga, let me tell you something. You bring your motherfucking, uh, your fucking beef patty eating ass over here, I'll kick your fucking teeth in. Now, now hold on, hold on now, baby. Clive, I'm gonna call you back. Don't be messing, don't be messing up my, right, hey, don't mess up my game. It's like, whatever. Grandma, I'm gonna get back. Right, like, hey, 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 hey. Now, Should look at here. Right, you right. Take this goddamn right. pot. Go home. Right, carry ass. Why you want to hear my conversation? <laughs> carry your ass. Right, right on.